What's up, guys? Hey, somebody out. Welcome back to the Diablo Research Institution. So, I have attained some new gears. And I'm going strictly Frost Nova now in this video. I still have the Death's Fathom. This is a budget build. All right, it is indeed a budget build, no argument against that whatsoever. It is budget if your budget is about 30 high runes or so. Maybe a little less, so keep that in mind. So Death's Fathom, three to sorcerer skills, 20 FCR, negative five to enemy cold res because it has a perfect facet in there. 35% uh, gold skill damage. Damn. This, this thing's perfect. My god. Okay, so this is budget if your budget is like 100 high runes, alright? So it's still budget, man. God damn. Frostbird Gauntlets, because I don't really need the additional FCR breakpoint that I could get from Trangs or Magefest. Actually, why just minute? Like a godly ring. Holy freaking toad. All right, maybe this is budget if your budget is like 115 high runes or something like that. Got ourselves an A-Rack. Got ourselves a Ravenfrost for style points. Yeah, no, you don't really need it. Doesn't uh, your cast rates aren't interrupted when you're chilled or frozen? But I just don't like to be chilled or frozen. I like to run a little bit when I'm the Sorceress, all right? Silk Weave for the five mana after each kill. Godly Boots, 30 FRW, 200 defense versus missile. Increase maximum mana 10%. And 5 mana after each kill. Got ourselves a spirit just for the fun of it. A Talrosh's amulet. Nightwing with nothing in it. You guys know I like to sometimes have just empty sockets on my gear. Uh, it's for the challenge primarily. You know, put a socket in it. Because that's a challenge in itself to sacrifice a socket quest. So, it's just basically for the challenge. You put a socket in your gear, and then you just never put anything in it, alright? If you want to be a high roller. Or if you want to be more of a pro Diablo 2 player or whatnot. It's, it's, just, it's just something I like to do. But 2 to all skills, 15% to cold skill damage, 20 to dex, plus 9 cold absorb, half freeze duration, so this bitch is not going to freeze. So I cannot be frozen here, and I have half freeze duration. Hell yeah. Uh, the cold res isn't the best, though. See that? It's not the best. Negative 35%. It's not the best. But it could be worse. And then I have Ormus Robes. 20 FCR. 15 to cold skill damage. 15 to lightning skill damage, but scratch that. Plus 3 to Frost Nova. 20 to defense. Regen mana 15%. And I put an Umrune in it. And I do have the Cold Sunder, as expected. You know, own some shit in just a minute here. And I don't want to fill the inventory up with, with charms. So I'm going to keep some of that shit open, all right? I don't have any small charms. Yeah, I need some res, but that's fine. This is uh, just showcasing. You know, this is experimental. Ugh, a perfect torch. Two to Zork, <laughs> Two to Zork skill levels. Hell yeah. Uh, three to Zork skill levels. Of course, this isn't this isn't PD2. Twenty to all attributes. All resistances plus twenty. Plus eight to light radius. Level thirty Hydra. Ten out of ten charges. And a perfect nanny, so and I have the mercenary just decked out with a vamp gaze with the plain IS jewel in there. With the treachery and it is a real GG and an insight. With a 17 meditation aura. Uh, so, pretty decked out here. But I gotta show you guys something. So, Bormth is at level 20 freaking 7. Plus 342 mana recovery just from Bormth alone. Uh, not counting what I have on gear. Not counting uh, my mercenary's meditation. Put one into teleport. Gotta be able to teleport. You can't skip that. One into frozen armor. And I maxed out Frost Nova. But look at the damage. Level 40, 1868 max damage. Let's see what this bitch can do. And uh, I, I overdid it a little bit, not gonna lie. 
I overdid it a little bit. I pumped the shit out of this cold mastery. So it's negative 200 to enemy cold res. There's probably some uh, wasted points there, but that's fine. This is partly for the challenge, so I was okay with I was okay with wasting a few skill points, you know? Because this is partly for the challenge. You gotta keep yourself challenged a little bit. Let's see how well it kills these cold immunes. Oh my god! No, it's not that good, is it? I mean it's it's better. Holy freaking toad. Holy shit. Alright, let's go over to Shank. See what these hombres. Look at this, no cold immunes. Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god! This is destroying shit! Are you kidding me? And look at- oh my god! Uh, with the meditation and the me Look how fast, look at this! Holy shit! L holy shit, look at how fast it's uh... Look at it go! Look at it go! Let me waste it all! Ew, yeah, ew, yeah! Uh, yeah, let me waste all that. This is for research purposes. How many seconds did that take? Like 10 seconds or some shit? Somebody's got to write down. Somebody want to write that down in the comments or something? We got to keep track of all this shit. Okay, 10 seconds. Uh, it's 10 seconds to waste the mana. And like like 4 seconds or 5 seconds or some shit to reach in. Okay. And uh, remember, I do have mana per kill. This is going to be awesome. Holy toad. <clears throat> there are some uh, native cold immunes here, right here. So those are going to be a bit more thick. I need to try... Oh my god. I need to try Nova. Ooh. Gotta pick up them rare jobs. Oh! 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 Almost died. Don't do it. Don't go down, Vayman. Don't go down, Vayman. Hey, sacred armor. Love finding shit. Okay, okay. All right, this is where I need to concentrate. Right? I don't wanna. I don't wanna die. It'd be embarrassing. It happens though. You really shouldn't be embarrassed. You got to get over that shame. All right. You gotta get over that shame. 20 to attack rating, 16 to life. What's my hit? Oh my god! What's what's the hit recovery? Yeah, what I need... Holy toad. I mean, for one, I probably need energy shield. Uh, in addition to that, or aside from that, uh, the alternative would be uh, to have better res. I mean, it's doable, man. It's doable, man. Oh, yeah. Love obliterating shit. You know what, though? Just to be safe, this is smart. This is a smart thing to do. You gotta make a portal. A safety portal. A safe. Look at this. Make it like right here. All right. Oh my god, did you see that? Holy toad! God damn! Uh, so I'm going to try a lightning so-so. Stay tuned for the next video. I am not done yet with the cold so-so. I mean, hell, I might as well beef it up. Oh my god, I didn't realize it! I didn't even realize the sace is right there. Picked his ass. Amp damage. Amp damage. It's a good one. Wait, could you use that early level? Level 15. Look at that. Oh my god. It even has plus 11 to max damage. Uh, level 15 godly sword. I want to keep that. Yep, 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 yep. We're going to keep it. Hold up. Hold up, Toad. Okay. Oh, can't fit it. Nope. Can't fit in there. Can't fit in there. You got to make that thing a little bigger. Don't they have that thing a little bigger in PD2? Just make it a little bigger. Oh! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! 
Yes! I have accomplished the cast sanctuary without... Did I oh, no! No! All right. I could have just hit the seal, I think. I have accomplished the cast sanctuary without dying. Quite a feat. Uh, like I said, though, I'm... I, uh... It's, it's a spiritual journey. You gotta get over that shame. But, uh, I, I did, in fact, make it without dying. That's pretty damn good. 40... This thing's pretty nice. 40 IS on it. Alright, now I do not want to attempt Satan alone. I, I'm going to have my mercenary to help me out. Against the Lord of Terror. Do I need this charm? No, I'm going to get rid of it. Alright, let's try Satan. Let's see how well Frostnova does against Satan. Pretty bad. Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh, he's dead! Oh, no! Yeah, it sucks against the boss. It really sucks against the boss. Uh, static, obviously, but this is a spiritual journey, so I'm not going to use it. One to all skills. One to ma- Oh my god, this thing is awesome. That's pretty damn good. And it's only level 54 requirement. Plus one to masteries. I, I think I'm going to save it. Going to put it in the stash. Uh, my Barbarian could use it. 3 to Strength. Not bad. 86 to Attack Rating. Pretty damn good. Okay. Going to keep that. And I am going to attempt to murder the Council. Let's see how well this character can do the Council. Appreciate you guys for watching the video. If you will like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Become a patron or a channel member if you want. Links in the description below. And you will indeed be blessed with many wife. Thank you to my patrons and my channel members. Uh, check me out on Spiritual Journeys with the Iceman. Links in the description below. Uh, big bear stories and shit and all the other animal attack stories and shit. Uh, Chilling Town of the Iceman. Check that out. Chilling Town Oh my god! Oh! Damn! Thought I could make it without dying. That's fine. Uh, I mean, you guys get the gist of it. I really don't have to finish off the council for you to see what this build can do. You can see it's quite nice. Get it. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, it's a rune! It's not a good one, though. Can I wear all this stuff? Yep, I got all the stuff on. Get it, 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 get it. Chug, 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 chug. Uh, yeah, so 115 high runes, and you can kill the Trav on uh, Players 1. No problem. Uh, maybe you gotta die once or twice to do it, but that's fine. Like I said, there's a couple things that could be changed up here. Alright, but I'm saving that for later videos, so appreciate you guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace be with you.